Before we get started, make sure you power down your pump. Make sure your power cord is unplugged from the back. As well as any communication lines you may have hooked to the back. And remove all tubing from your fluid path, your outlet and your inlet. The tools recommended for this procedure are a pair of pliers, a quarter inch wrench, and a half inch wrench. To remove the head from the pump, first disconnect the outlet line using your half inch wrench to put on the check valve housing, and the quarter inch wrench to remove the tubing. Next, you're going to need to lo loosen the thumb nuts to hold the head onto the pump. Let's get your pair of pliers. Loosen them up. And remove them the rest of the way with your hands. After that, you can grab the head, just pull it off. If any of the gaskets or backup washers come off with it, go ahead and slide it back on just so you can keep track of them. After you remove the head, you're going to want to remove the self flush, which is this black thing right here. Um, take off the backup washer. This just pulls right off. And set it to the side. Now the next thing you're going to want to remove is this backup plate, which is this peat colored piece of plastic back here. Uh, it's kind of hard just to grab, so you're going to want some kind of tool to reach back in there and pull it off. Grab your new piston and to install it on the piston arm carrier, it's like a little seat that you have to drop it into. So you slide it down, put your cover plate back on, get yourself flush, make sure you have the proper orientation. The check valves on the self flush will say outlet and inlet on them. So make sure the outlet is pointing up. Slide that back on. Get your backup washer. Slide that back on. And get your pump head and make sure the orientation of your pump head is correct. The outlet is a small hole and the inlet is the larger one, the outlet always goes up. It slides on until you feel the piston, put your thumb in the middle and push it back. Put on the thumb nuts. Take the thumb nuts finger tight, get your pair of pliers, after they're finger tight, turn them about a quarter turn. And reinstall your outlet line. 